Omnium Sanctorum, a pastoral epistle for all saints and all souls, November 2023, by the titular Archbishop of Selsey. Carissimi, as we observe the Feast of All Saints Day and commemorate All Souls Day, our hearts are filled with both joy and solemnity. These holy days remind us of our ultimate goal as Catholics and our longing to be united with our Heavenly Father. It is a time to honour the saints, known and unknown, who have gone before us and are now in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amidst the various challenges that we encounter in our present-day society, one of the foremost concerns is the enduring conflict in the Middle East involving Israel and Hamas. This protracted dispute has resulted in widespread anguish, leaving countless individuals with a sense of despair and hopelessness. Nevertheless, it is imperative to bear in mind that despite the prevailing unrest, our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ endures as the ultimate wellspring of hope and consolation. As believers, we should find our comfort in Jesus as our King, who reigns above, in our hearts, and through our lives. His presence reminds us that we are not alone in our struggles and that there is always hope. The expectation of his coming strengthens our faith and fills us with anticipation for when he will establish his kingdom of peace and justice on earth. Trust in Jesus Christ's power and sovereignty. He is our unwavering support keeping us grounded and guiding us through difficult times. Our faith is deeply rooted in the concept of incarnation, which calls us to embody the principles and values of heaven in our everyday lives here on earth. This means that we are called to live as subjects of heaven, allowing the divine to guide our thoughts, actions and decisions. By striving to be saints in this earthly existence, we can nurture the hope of becoming saints in the eternal realm of heaven. To fully embrace this incarnational faith, we are encouraged to surrender ourselves completely to Jesus Christ, recognizing him as our king and the ultimate authority in our lives. Through this surrender, we open ourselves up to the transformative power of his love and grace, allowing him to shape us into the truest versions of ourselves as children of God. This surrender is not a passive act, but an active choice that requires constant effort and commitment. It involves aligning our wills with the divine will, seeking to discern and follow God's plan for our lives. It means living with integrity and authenticity, striving to embody the virtues and values that Jesus exemplified during his time on earth. In this way, our faith becomes a lived experience, permeating every aspect of our existence. It shapes our relationships, our work, our choices and our priorities. It calls us to be compassionate, forgiving and merciful, just as Jesus was. It challenges us to be agents of positive change in the world, working towards justice, peace and the common good. Living as subjects of heaven in the republic of our wills here on earth is not always easy. It requires us to resist the temptations of selfishness, pride and materialism that can distract us from our true purpose. It demands that we constantly examine our hearts and minds, seeking to root out any attitudes or behaviours that are contrary to the teachings of Jesus. Yet, in this ongoing journey of faith, we find hope and inspiration. We are reminded that we are not alone in our pursuit of holiness. We are part of a larger community of believers, united by our shared commitment to following Christ. Together, we support and encourage one another drawing strength from our collective faith and the wisdom of those who have gone before us. Ultimately, our faith calls us to embrace the fullness of our identity as children of God. It invites us to live with purpose, meaning and a deep sense of belonging. 
Through our surrender to Jesus Christ as our King, we can experience the transformative power of his love, allowing it to shape us into the saints we are called to be. In this way, our faith becomes a beacon of hope, guiding us towards the eternal realm of heaven. Let us seek the intercession of Jesus, our exalted Lord, that our prayers may be perfected by his prayer. Through him we can find the strength and grace to live as true disciples, shining his light in a world that is in desperate need of his love and mercy. May the observance of All Saints' Day and All Souls' Day inspire us to reflect on the importance of leading holy lives, fostering unity and peace, and offering fervent prayers for the souls in purgatory. These solemn occasions serve as a reminder of the communion of saints, the interconnectedness of all believers, and the power of intercessory prayer. All Saints Day honours all the saints, known and unknown, who have attained the beatific vision and now reside in the heavenly realm. It is a time to commemorate the exemplary lives of these holy men and women, who, through their unwavering faith and virtuous actions, have become role models for us on our spiritual journey. Their lives serve as a testament to the transformative power of God's grace and the potential for holiness that resides within each of us. All Souls Day is a time to remember loved ones who have passed away and offer prayers and sacrifices for their souls. Our prayers for the deceased can make a difference in their spiritual journey, aiding their purification process and leading them to our Heavenly Father. Purgatory is a state of purification, not punishment, where souls are cleansed of attachment to sin. Our prayers and acts of charity can alleviate their suffering and hasten their journey towards eternal life. In light of these holy days, we are called to reflect on the brevity and fragility of human life, recognizing that death is not the end, but rather a transition to a new and eternal existence. It is a time to ponder the mysteries of life and death, to contemplate the meaning and purpose of our own existence, and to strive for holiness in all aspects of our lives. Remember these words of St. Therese of Lisieux, I want to spend my heaven doing good on earth. As we honour the saints and pray for their souls in purgatory, let us be inspired to emulate their virtues, to seek unity and peace in our relationships and communities, and to offer fervent prayers for the eternal repose of the faithful departed. May these days of remembrance and prayer deepen our understanding of the communion of saints and strengthen our commitment to living lives of holiness love and compassion. May the reign of Jesus Christ as King in our hearts be a beacon of hope and a source of transformation in our lives. Let us surrender ourselves completely to his loving rule, allowing him to guide and direct us in all that we do. In doing so, we will not only find true fulfilment and purpose, but we will also become instruments of his peace and love in the world. May the blessings of All Saints' Day and All Souls' Day be upon you and your loved ones. May the intercession of the saints and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ bring you comfort, hope, and the assurance of eternal life. In Christo, Hieronymus Seliesi. <laughs>